It's the Arizona Golf Association Rule of the Month, brought to you by the PGA Superstore. Guys, whenever it's time to talk rules, there's none better than longtime USGA rules official and Arizona Golf Association Executive Director, Ed Gowan. It's time for another Rule of the Month. Today we're gonna to talk about bunkers, Rule 12. First of all, what is a bunker? It's a prepared area of sand or something similar to sand. And oftentimes it's a hollow where turf has been removed. Any other area of sand on the course is not a bunker. How do you know if your ball's in a bunker? Simply the ball touches the sand. Not overhangs, it has to touch the sand. Or it could lie on something like a leaf or a piece of paper that is touching the sand. Then the ball's in the bunker. If it's on a grass mound inside the bunker or something growing, it is not part of the bunker. It has to touch the sand because that's when this rule 12 governs what you can and cannot do. All right, we're in the bunker. Let's get down to business. What can't we do? Once you're in a bunker, you can't ground your club either right behind or right in front of the ball. You can't take a practice swing that hits the sand. Anywhere on the course now, even in a penalty area, you can ground your club or take practice swings not in a bunker. You can't move sand in your backswing, and you can't do anything that improves your line of play. As an example, you might remember a tour player who in his backswing took some sand away from behind the ball, was penalized two strokes for improving his stroke. So it's a question of whether or not you're improving your line of play. Okay, fair enough. Now, what can we do? What can you do? You can put your clubs down in the bunker. You can now ground your club in the sand as long as it's not right in front of or right behind the ball. You can rake areas with footprints. You can remove loose impediments as long as you don't move the ball. It used to be you could not, but in the new rules now you can move them. A loose impediment would be a stone, a leaf, a clot of mud, anything natural that is not growing, it's not solidly embedded, that's a loose impediment, a natural object. You have a little stone right in front of your ball, right behind your ball, you can move it. Don't move the ball, I saw that. but you can move the stone. And if you happen to disturb sand in doing it, that's not a problem. And then once the ball is played from the bunker, all the limits are off, you can do whatever you wish. Yeah, but don't get carried away, golf fans. Practice strokes, slam your club into the sand, not a problem. Okay, that's all dandy, but what about those times we find ourselves in a bunker and we're in complete jail? Now you can take your ball out of the bunker for a two-stroke penalty and drop back on the line and avoid having that really difficult shot. Let's say you're bury a ball in the face of a deep bunker, and you know it's going to take you at least one stroke to get out of the lie, and then probably another one at least to get out of the bunker. Now under the rules for a two-stroke penalty, you can just drop behind that point back on the line outside the bunker, and you're good to go. So now the rules give you an out. There you have it, golf fans. Some easy stuff to remember about bunker play. The sand's not too bad. Hopefully after watching this, you're a little less scared of the beach. This has been your Arizona Golf Association Rule of the Month, brought to you by the PGA Superstore. All over the country, golf is just like you. The playing with clubs that quite simply weren't made for them. The good news is there's hope. You can get your clubs fit for free at the PGA Tour Superstore. Don't just hit it, fit it.